Hey y'all, it's Biscuit. I know I haven't been on here in a long, long, long time. However, we back today. Happy New Year to everybody. So today we are going to do some organize with me because the best way to a new, a new year is to be organized. And my drawers have been a mess. And I don't like for my drawers to be a mess. So today we're just going to chit chat, talk, I'm gonna check in with you guys, see how you're doing, uh, answer some questions. Hopefully everybody's holiday has been great and so on and so forth. So that's basically what I'm doing, kind of cleaning out my drawers, organizing some stuff. I bought a new caddy. Uh, actually, my mom bought me a small little caddy and I'm going to show it to you guys shortly. Um, and... We're going to kind of move some things around, get some stuff off my floor because, you know, I got to be a little organized. I got to be a little bit better than what I'm doing. Uh, hold on, I'm going to log on my tablet to kind of see any comments, if there will be any. Hopefully everybody is doing good. So I think I'm just going to start off by showing you guys my drawers and um, what they look like because I had a client this morning um, come through and get her nails repaired. She had uh, hit her two hands in the door, which I mean, it happens. So I repaired those two nails, it took me about 45 minutes and then the clients I had this morning. Um, and so on and so forth. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I have so much stuff. Of course, you guys know that I purchased a lot of my stuff on Amazon and, um, I just have a lot. First of all, let me show you guys this cart my mom bought me. Uh, hey, Laura, I know. Where have I been? I've been busy with work. Um, during the holiday season, we got kind of busy, so, um, I was trying to focus on that, making sure we get through that, and now I have some more time on my hands. I mean, it's only once a year that I get really, really, really swamped with work, and that's around Christmas time, so, but I'm back in full effect. Um, I actually recorded my giveaway video today, so that will be coming out shortly. Um, I'm going to be giving away, um... $150. I'm going to do some e-gift cards to my favorite store and everybody should know what that is. Um, so I'm going to give away five gift cards to uh, five lucky winners. And yeah, so I have to edit that video after this, but I just wanted to come on here. Let's organize because obviously it's the new year. Happy new year, everybody. And I wanted to get my life in order with my nail room because I have so much stuff all over the place and I kind of just want it to be a little bit better organized. So that's what we're doing and I figured I'd come on here with you guys, see how you guys have been doing, what you guys have been up to, how's the holiday, how was the Christmas. Um, Christmas was good for me. My birthday was actually right after Christmas. So, you know, uh, now it's New Year's Day. Um, and you know, we're in 2021 and let's hope that, you know, everybody stays very healthy, um, happy, filled with love and laughter, you know? So yeah, but, um, I wanted to show you guys this cart that, um, thank you. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. This is the cart that my mom, uh, purchased for me and she got it off of Amazon Sorry, I have a tilt of cleaning products right here. Um, so here is the cart that she purchased for me. It's a three-tier cart. So I kind of want to put that on my uh, left side of my desk because I have some stuff on the floor that really needs to come off the floor. So I want to do some organization today. And... Uh, that's what 
we are going to do. See, um, thank you, the goat. Happy New Year to you too. So here's what my floor looks like over here. Obviously, I have a bunch of nail stuff that, yeah, shouldn't be on the floor, but I just don't have space. So I figured that nail cart I could utilize and probably try to better organize my drawers a little bit more. Um, obviously, I'm running out of room for my nail foils. I put them in Ziploc bags. So yes, I uh, just wanted to come on here, organize. Um, like these jewels I need to actually go in the bling drawer. So stuff that's in drawers shouldn't be in drawers. Dip powder. So yeah, I just kind of threw the stuff in there. So we will see. We shall see. But obviously, look at this drawer, right? It's a mess. A mess. Drill bits is open. <laughs> uh, just looking at all this stuff kind of gives me a little bit of a... Like, what am I going to do with all of this? But we're going to get to that nevertheless. Uh, you never hit my line. Um, there's a reason for that, obviously, with, you know, me working. I've been really busy. And I finally have time to relax chill uh get my stuff in order and whatnot so just been busy but yes yeah, so i don't even to be quite honest i'm not really sure where i'm going to start um i probably should start with this caddy because if there's some stuff that i could get off my floor i would rather do that so let's do that this is my nail drill yeah, it's just been a long, a long, long, Ooh, I've been working. I've been putting in like, uh, I did 14 days straight of working, no break. So then I did nine days before that. So I just needed to get away. So, um, I have a bunch of stuff that. Like this binder here actually has my stamping plates and I think I'm gonna take those out of there because obviously when it's when the binder sits up it the weight of the stamping plates drags this down so I want to remove that I want to kind of make a, a drawer for that so this is my these are my nail quizzes that I just keep over here obviously they should go somewhere um, so I definitely have my barbicide solution that needs to definitely stay. Um, so these are extra, like my extra alcohol. Um, that, those are all my cords, which is going to stay here. Um, I have more nail foils that I need to organize. I got these polishes that I actually took to nail class with me. And to be quite honest, I'm not trying to say that I don't need them, but I don't really use them because um, these were just the travel size. But obviously, I should make a place for them, but my nail rack is already full. So, um, the ghost says, so you've been that busy? Yes, I have. Yeah. So, there's my young nail swipe that can go up top here these nail foils that I haven't even swatched yet that I bought so definitely gotta find a spot for those like I said I have so many nail foils this was my Archon Mountain box I kept this just in case something happened but I can go ahead and get rid of this now so we can trash that this was the box to my uh, UV nail lamp the ones that I um, this was an extra one that I bought and haven't used yet so um, obviously I have some stuff that's on standby that I could use just in case um, one of them breaks so this is actually I'll put that down at the bottom so, but other than that how has everybody else been so I'm down at the bottom 
so what I'm gonna do is obviously I can't have the cart too close to here because when I pull out the drawer it's gonna hit so I'm just going to end up turning it um, sideways like here so that way I have a cart in the back so obviously I can keep my liquids at the top like my overflow Margaret says, blessings to you. Much love from Trinidad. Same to you. Glad you're doing great, Laura. I'm trying to go back and forth with... Uh... Oh, I'm just reading it because I'm trying... I'm making sure that my subscribers know exactly who I'm talking to. So... That's why I say your name before every uh, every time I respond to your your question. Okay, so obviously right in here, my glove spilt from this drawer. So that's not a good thing. So I need to get those. I should have bought like a case where I could just put my gloves. Uh, in like a little case. I wonder do they have something like that on Amazon. See, I'm always trying to buy something. Uh, Margaret, happy new year! Happy new year to you too. See, this acrylic powder doesn't belong in this drawer. This acrylic powder doesn't belong in this drawer. Um, this is here's my other gloves that I use. So these are my stamping polishes. Probably should remove this out of here. Maybe I'll put this down at the bottom here, right? Because that's something I use. That way, now that frees up a full drawer. And I could probably put those all my stamping polishes. But these are colors I just haven't opened yet. So those are extra colors is treasured hi happy new year uh so you a hoarder just asking no i'm not a hoarder i just buy a lot sorry <laughs> i don't hoard anything i just have a lot of stuff that i do use and who knows if i get a client that may want something and then i turn around and throw it away and I say, oh, I did have that for a client. So, no, I'm not a hoarder. I just buy a lot. Sorry. <laughs> that was a good one, though. <laughs> uh, so, you know what? I really probably wanted to give these away. But I'll just go ahead and... Hi, hon. I'll just go ahead and keep these. So, so I don't know. I'll put them in the drawer just because why not take them out the bag because obviously I don't want to I want to get organized that's the key is to get organized Margaret say I can do with some Margaret do you you said you want some nail you want these Margaret let me know I think I'll be able to ship these I just have to pack them real good and make sure that they're they're on tight so it doesn't spill. I know you say you stay in Trinidad, so I'll have to see if I can ship these to you if you want them. Because they would uh, be like dangerous goods if I ship them. Let me look on my uh, my other phone. Mm, let's look at Amazon, right? Beetles. I'm looking at Amazon Beetles nail polish gel kits trying to find the one that I had I think it was this one 
which is $27. Um, are you following me on Instagram, Margaret? So let me know. I'll be looking for your comment. So let's put those here. Yes. Garbage. I don't need that. I ain't forget you, Crystal. I got you. No worries. I'll build it. Okay, yeah. Whenever you can. Yeah. I've been thinking about it. Don't worry. Okay. I'm going to still look on Pinterest, though, so that way okay. I can get some ideas for my bench. I can't wait for it, though. So whenever you can build it for me, yeah. I'm ready. All right, bet. I got to take measurements. So today, actually, I can do that. Yeah, no problem. Take measurements how big you want it, how high or how far you want it to come out. Okay, and that'll work. And I might end up getting rid of that desk anyway, like moving it somewhere. That whole desk? Maybe, yeah. yeah. All right. So, probably. Uh, you saw what I did with the tank downstairs, the stand? Not thing? yet, no. I'm going to come down there and look. Yeah, it's sturdy as hell. It'll hold the fish ain't. Mm hmm. So, I'm sure I could do, I could do a chair. I know, <laughs> I know you work your magic. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, well, follow me on uh, Instagram, Margaret, at I am Biscuit Seven. Okay, send me a message, uh, and then just include the Beatles nail polish. Okay, I'm gonna be looking for your message. Oh, my rings, my jump rings came out. So, uh, my Instagram name is I am Biscuit Seven. So that's in there and that'll be fine for now so right i probably should move a few things to like my nail foil boxes i can move those down move those in the back and what i'll probably do yes on instagram uh you can send me a message and I will definitely respond to you. So maybe I should flip them upside down. Not that I'll be able to see them, but, or I'll make some tags and write on them. So that way I know what kind of foils these are. Cause if they're face down, I can't really, you still won't be able to see what kind of foil it is. So as I'm saying, if I put it, I mean, maybe you could. Let me get the light over here, guys. There we go. Much better. Um, so I mean, I'll probably flip them upside down that way I can see the color a little bit better. So that'll work. This one is like my favorite. And sorry, my hands are ashy. Obviously, I washed them. <laughs> I got these nail foils off of Amazon as well. I know I'm supposed to be making an Amazon storefront for you guys so that way you can go right to um, right to my storefront and purchase everything. These are too cute. Two. Obviously, 
these need to go out of this drawer. These, here's more nail foils. These are stamping plates. Hi, Victoria. How are you? Hi, Choma. I hope I'm saying it right. Happy New Year. I apologize if I'm not. This doesn't belong in that drawer either. More nail foil. See, I didn't even put my nail foil back. Happy New Year, Victoria. So that can come out of there. This is for when I do my um, my manicures. So obviously these are for when I do my soak off. This is for my scrub when I am scrubbing my clients' nails. These are the bowls that I soak in. So those are back there. So that stuff can stay there in that drawer. These are my nail foils. I can put those in the back. And actually, I think I'm going to move some of these up. Only because I want to try to fit another row of... I'm going to fit those right there. Glad that everybody's doing good. Hopefully, everybody had a good Merry Christmas. So, these are more foils. Obviously, Halloween. So, those will go there. And I just get this with just like more flowers and florals and stuff. And it's half open. And actually, let's get the air out of there. I need to open this one back up because obviously when I did a set of nails, I did not put the snowflakes back in the bag. I'm just gonna put those flat and then I'll put that right on top. All right, so this drawer consists of stamping polish, regular polish, and nail foils. So this drawer I'm okay with. Uh, this bottom drawer, right? Um, this is room temperature uh, water that I use when I'm doing some water marbles. Um, so that's why I have these water bottles in here in case you guys are wondering. Um, technically, I could move these over here, but I don't want people to think that this is drinking water, which is why I keep it in the drawer, because technically it's not. Um, so that's extra. This was extra monomer. Um, I can put that over there on my shelf. Other than that, this drawer can pretty much stay the same. I still keep an overflow of my paper towels, obviously. Um, I keep my Young Nails uh, nail powder. I have an overflow of nail polish remover. So this drawer I can leave alone because, like I said, I have my Lysol spray. Um, overflow, overflow for my cuticle remover when I'm doing my pedicures. So this drawer I don't really need to touch. So now this drawer is half empty. And, oh my God, this is the drawer I'm terrified of. What were what was I doing for New Year's Eve? Um, after, so other than that, that's about it. I didn't go anywhere. We just a New Year with them, so it's no place to go. Um, you know, COVID is still out, so I am not really trying to be out in these streets. Okay. So, I do have more of these storage drawers. Um, I probably should move some things. Like, I have some double-sided tape. These were my rings for... I don't know what where to begin with this drawer, to be quite honest. Um, but I at least want to knock out one side. 
Happy New Year, Beatrice. Victoria said yesterday I got a bunch of glitter uh, in the mail from Amazon and some new nail art. Girl, I love Amazon. I've actually, uh, during the Christmas holiday, I tried to stop purchasing because I know like Amazon, UPS, FedEx, the post office, they're probably swamped with deliveries. So I really didn't purchase much. I found all my Christmas gifts and stuff in store and I let that be that. But I'm glad you got some new stuff. I know how it feels to have some new stuff and to just keep buying, buying, buying. Because trust me, uh, see, you just like me. You said you'd be ordering on Amazon like crazy. So do I. That's why I said, I know um, somebody asked if I was a hoarder. I am not a hoarder. I just definitely like to purchase a lot of stuff. So, and it's not like I'm just holding it to not use it. Eventually, you'll get that one client who wants something. And then if you throw it away, you'll be like, I, I had that, but I threw it away. So, even just like these little hand sanitizers. <laughs> I keep those in here just to, hand, to sanitize your hands, so. <laughs> You are not by yourself. <laughs> I just, I like to shop. I mean, it is what it is. I am not going to sugarcoat that. I like to shop. Um, and actually, I think I'm probably going to move. I'm probably going to move this stuff. So, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I need more room. Because this drawer is completely chugged. So, uh, I'm just going to take this out of here and maybe I'll leave that, uh, maybe I'll make another shelf or something. Up. So what I did is I just put it over there for now. I'm probably going to end up moving it again. Um, and obviously I have some stuff in my drawer. Let me wipe this out. So, and also, in case anybody's wondering where I got this desk from, um, Ikea. I love Ikea, too, especially for furniture. Okay. So. Uh, hey, Christina. Happy New Year. <laughs> you cutting up Easter grass, making my mylar cute. Uh, what, I offended you by saying that? No, I just found it hilarious that you thought I was a hoarder. I'm not a hoarder. <laughs> I wasn't offended. I just got too much stuff. But the stuff I have, I need and I need to keep it. So. Um, I should probably find... Where is Emma? Where's my other phone at? I need to find, like, a glove holder. Because this is not going to work for my ministry. Okay. I broke the box open, obviously, because I was trying to condense. And then I have two boxes of gloves. So I need to see if there's like a a glove box. I hate to say a glove box like that, but like a acrylic. I bet you there's something out there like that. Amazon. Um, what would we call it? Like a glove box organizer? But, but yep, they probably thought it was for a car. Um, let's see. Latex glove. Oop. See, this is the problem. Glove. See, the Christine, are you coming through right now? Glove dispenser. <laughs> you coming through. Let me see. I want it to be like a container though. Something like that. But obviously I broke the box. So I just want the gloves to sit in the I know it when I see it yeah mass dispenser something like this oh wait a minute 
that was cute. Tissue dispenser, see, up, clear, up. Look, we got a winner. Even though it's a tissue dispenser, I just need to be able to pull some gloves out. Look at God. <laughs> Christina, look at gloves. Thank you, guys. We stay buying. See, that's the problem. But I need this. So we're going to hold on to this. Because look, y'all, I cannot. I cannot. This just doesn't look like I'm organized whatsoever. And then also I got my other, my other pack over here. And I, I mean, this just takes up so much room sitting in this this uh this drawer so for now um for now this is where they're sitting temporarily because that doesn't look a piece into the eyes either um oh i missed a lot of comments here uh, i need my nails trimmed okay uh follow me on instagram and book an appointment uh, his treasure said being a nail tape, you always need to have stuff. Yes, you do. You can get an old. Okay, I could have I could have done that. Glove dispenser. Look at the glove dispenser. Yep. Okay, Margaret. <laughs> oh, Lord, y'all giving her more stuff to buy. That drawer can't take no more. <laughs> we stay buying. Yep. Okay. So now that we have a clean drawer, we got to do something with this. Mm. Mm. I need to go get these other. I'll be back, you guys. My other containers are in my other room storage container. That way we can just do an easy transfer. All right. So these, obviously, I got from the Dollar Tree. These are extra. And I got these from the Dollar Tree as well. These are extra. I think I'm going to utilize these for my stamping plates. Because it'll just make it easier. I have more. So... We'll just put that over there. Okay. So, I mean, I could just take everything out of the drawer. That would probably make it easier. Um, so, obviously, this is fake money that I ordered off of Amazon um, for when clients want money nails. And as I said, I took it out and didn't replace it. And the way you know this fake money, obviously the Chinese writing is on the back. So you just have to cut out the stuff that you want. So let's see. Um, I wish that I could fit two, but that's why I turned them sideways. Oh, the money? How much was the money? This? Um, you know what? I think it was $12. And you get a lot. Uh, type in um, fake money or fake movie money. And then that's what came up. should be a special guest all my clients whether i even know them like my sister-in-laws they book online too um that's the way that i'm able to keep my calendar up to date because if i just tell you verbatim oh yeah you can come 
you know, to get your nails done on Wednesday. And then I actually overbooked because I had a client, you know, so it just keeps everything in order for me. That's why I tell everybody to book online with me. I like order. I like to try to be in order, obviously, which is why I'm organizing. So, um, okay. Right. Oh, look, y'all. I forgot about these uh, paint pots, gel paint pots that I bought. We got to figure out a place for those to go. I probably should just put those in here somewhere. Let me see. Because it's a lot of those. I probably should. Yep, I think I'm going to do that. Because they can't just continue to sit on top of my desk like this. I'll put them towards the back because this is what I like to use when I do like line art and line work. Okay. And this one is still leaking. <laughs> then you know what that is a good question to ask though how do you guys feel about tipping your nail technician what makes you tip the nail technician because obviously tips are not required but do you just do it because that's who you are do you tip when she slays your nails he or she because there are men out there that do nails so what makes you um, tip your nail tech? Is that just etiquette for you to just do it? You always leave a tip for your nail tech because it's their business. You know, it's their hustle. It's their business. How y'all feel about that? Okay. So those are in there. And you know what? I'm going to put this Rossi in here because... Keep their stuff together. All right. So put that in the back. Um, Sarah Faith. Hey, how are you? Says always tip. Laura says always. His treasure. This says I think it's just etiquette. Uh, Sarah says, for any service, I tip waitress, bartender, hairstyle, etc. I do as well, because that's people's life. They got to make a living off that. Well, not off that, but of course, you know, they charge for certain products because of the price that they paid for it. And not only that, that person took time and effort to, you know, create some stuff, do some stuff, things like that. So, you know, I agree. So now let's let's take a look at this drawer, at this what we have here, right? So I think I'll put my nail forms and stuff in here. Put the money here, like all my plastic stuff that I have in plastic. These are butterflies. This is like nail art. More nail forms. These are more nail forms. Put those in there. This is the peel off tape for your cuticles in case you're doing like some stamping or anything. 
That way you can just peel this off and you don't have to worry about it being on your skin. These are beads. This is acrylic powder that actually technically could go with the acrylic powder. my hand sanitizer I'll just pull that out uh toothpicks i use when i'm doing my water marbling so i'll put that there this is bling gel this is bling gel we should probably go with the bling uh, with the bling i don't know what i use this for i have so many obviously i had tried to wipe it out because of the nail polish These are my jump rings. Definitely keep those together. This is um, leaves that I use to encapsulate nail foils, holographic glitters, more leaves. Okay. Um, I don't really use my practice hand as much. Um, the one that you purchase off of like eBay and Amazon, what size are your jump rings? Um, so they're all the same. They're seven, uh, seven mm millimeters. Yep. I just got them in different colors and I got these from Michael's. These are more nail tips. I probably could just condense. I mean, I still use this, that practice hand, but not as often because I have my silicone hand. So I got two of those. Uh, I have two of these practice hands. But don't forget where you came from. So that's why I keep them because who knows that silicone hand, I may have to, you know, um, throw it away maybe one day. So this is the extra bag. And like, see, I was trying not to be wasteful on um, nail foils. So obviously I chose a few uh, nail foils from this to do my clients nails and I saved the ones that I didn't use but um, I don't know do you guys do the same thing do you save like little pieces of nail foil like this um, as I said I I keep these because <laughs> you can still get some wear out of this uh, nail techs don't throw away nothing <laughs> that's true I organize my nail card by drawers, acrylic gloves, nail forms, glitter foils, basics, top coats, silicone, yep, stampers. Okay, exactly, yep. And look, I have the flames. I probably could use, I probably could use that plastic right here, this right here. I'm just put these flames back in there. Because obviously, right, I had it for a reason. Don't know what I was using for it, but I never threw it away. So here's some more flames. Even the baggies. <laughs> See? <laughs> so um, Louis Vuitton stickers. These were Mickey. Um, these are just so cute. I bought these when I was in nail school. I couldn't pass them up. Okay, so these are more butterflies, Louis Vuitton, these, more Louis Chanel butterflies. So I think I'll put those here so that way they can be visible. This is to my stamper. Look at that. Uh, more nail forms. Uh, more nail forms. <laughs> 
those there. All these are, I just bought these, so can't get rid of those. this air out for Christmas one of my friends gave me a pack of empty clear jars and I was so excited because I needed them <laughs> yeah I know organization is key and actually I think I have some ways I get to the other side of my my desk y'all gonna be like okay <laughs> even the baggies right <laughs> look at that you just need storage to organize so that's why i reached for these because you gotta try to keep stuff organized right that's the key word is try so i'm gonna put these in there these are like for when you do french uh french tip designs I think I might end up moving those jump rings out of there because these may be the let's see what other size I get if I get a bigger size let's try this putting them on my line in the bag yep uh, I can't even talk to you because I got too much clothes and shoes oh now nah, I got a lot of clothes and shoes too but um, I just don't talk about it because obviously like my obsession, not obsession, but my channel is based on nails and you know, sometimes when people subscribe to you, you don't want to get off the, look, this don't even fit in here. I'm going to make this work. It look like it'll fit. Um, but yeah, I got a closet full of shoes, closet full of clothes. I mean, I got too many clothes <laughs> and too many shoes. I got shoes I haven't even worn yet. Look at that. I made it fit. It's always a way, y'all. So, I got stuff, too. I just don't talk about it only because this is my, uh, my nail channel. And look, see? Unorganized. That's what I talk about, being unorganized. So... Christina says, have you seen a three-pack jars at Dollar Tree with the pink and purple tops? I haven't seen them yet. I haven't even been in Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is clutch, though, because um, they have a lot of good stuff in there. And it's only for a dollar, especially storage-wise. Like I said, these containers, Dollar Tree. And see, here's a nail foil. See, that's what I say, you're unorganized. butterflies and you know what since these are loose let me get a, another bag so they won't be all over the place and let's hope that these fit in here if not they gonna fit today <laughs> all right there we go i probably can't seal it but it's all right I can go in there. Um, so these are my nail remover foils. Obviously, I could throw that part away. I don't know what I'm going to do with those just yet. So I'm going to just leave them on my desk. Um, so we can put the glitter here. We'll do my nail foils here, and my holographic glitters there. Actually, I probably should put those with these. Oh my God, I forgot all. <laughs> so I should probably put those with these. So 
So, because this is all my glitters and stuff. Like glitters, um, like some old rhinestones that I had, some pearls. More rhinestones, some glitter mixes. I got these glitters from Dollar Tree a long time ago. But you can make your own glitter mixes for acrylic. So I think I'll put those there. Um, these I'll take out though. So it could be just like, and these are like my caviar beads. I can remove those. Put those glitters in there, holographic glitters. Those can go in there. Okay. I love the pearls. I know they so cute, aren't they? And they're flat bags. <clears throat> I don't even organize my own closet. I need to though, because like I said, I want to get a little bit better organized. Um, this year, definitely want to get better organized. So I'm just going to leave my glitters up here, though. So that can stay there because I'm not going to touch that because there's nothing I can really do with that. Um, I'll remove these nail foils, though. And this stamper. Let me move that out of here. Um, this can go down here. I'm going to remove my nail tape. Um, we're going to put that in here. These are my foils. That should go in there. I thought I had the idea. I'm like, I saw two that were open. So that can go in there. See, you can go back in there. Mickey. These were the little sponge applicators that the uh, holographic glitters came from. So I'll just put those up in here because that's where they were now foil there um these are for my wax pencils and this is just an extra brush obviously i could just take it out of the plastic because i will use it eventually hello Quinetta. happy new year i've been mixing glitter for the last two weeks i know they cute though just take this oops, since this is a new brush we're just gonna put it in the in there that way we can get rid of the plastic um and see my jump rings spilt out but we don't waste no jump rings so and this was a makeup applicator for my holographic foils obviously my bling gel spilt in here so that's why I, it shouldn't be in here you can just wash these out uh, this is my nail palette so we're gonna get these jump rings out of here and actually less that would be better organization instead of these jump rings just sitting in the plastic like that so let's just put them in a uh, a nice little baggie. Um, let's see here. Uh, Christina said, do you need some gold and silver rose gold flakes? I can send you some. I got them from Michaels. Uh, sure. Because these are, the, these are actually the only three. That's so nice of you. That's the only three that I have right now. Because I know you can buy more uh, gold gold um sheets off of amazon um i think i have them in my cart um so yeah but thank you that's so nice of you i appreciate it so what i'm just gonna do is get rid of those so these will just be extras because obviously i don't want to mix them because it is silver and gold i'm gonna wash this out and get rid of those um okay so
I'm already on an hour and I only made it to this one side of my desk. I may have to do another video. Um, for my other side of the desk, y'all. Okay, so obviously I want to open these up, but it's open on the other side. Actually, let me get a bigger one. Thank you so much, Christina. Okay, so much better. Now you don't have to worry about them falling out. And then when I buy some more, just add to the bag. So that trash. Uh, the girl said I'm color coordinated. I try to be color coordinated. Like with my shirts and stuff, I'm color coordinated, but not by shoes. Daisy, oh, I'm late to the party. Will you save this? Of course I will. It will be up on my channel. I don't get rid of any of my live streams. Just because you never know who may want to watch it later. So. Um. Trash here. Put that in there. Christina says, my organization take a whole day because I get sidetracked. Been done saying something. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm trying to focus on doing this. So if I can just get organized in the desk. I'll be fine. The only thing I have to get adjusted to is me moving stuff to a new a new drawer now. So that's all. And one more. And see, I haven't even opened this one yet. That don't make sense. Oh, it makes sense a lot when you think about your shoe collection. I don't have time to be organized by color, like color for shoes, but like brand. Like I got a lot of Nike um, Air Maxes. I organize them by brand, but not by color. But my shirts are organized by color. Okay, so now that that is done... I made some progress, it, even though it doesn't seem like it. This charger is actually to my portable um, nail file. So I will take that out here. And this is spider gel. Maybe I'll put that down here. Um, my nail stampers. I can probably put maybe in here. Bought extra nail stampers here. I love nail stamping. It's the easiest way to come up with a design. Easy. I think I have another one. Yep, nail stamper here. I got nail stampers in here. And, oh, I forgot about the silver ones. So we'll get to that shortly. Oh, and I gotta get another nail ring. Okay, so let me get my nail stampers out of here. These are just tools. These are for my label maker. This should be in the other drawer. Uh, this is a nail stamper. This is my nail tape. So I said I think I'll put the nail tape. See, that's the problem when you're moving stuff. Oh, right here. Underneath the... Underneath here. Okay. I got to be able to see it. It's got to be visible. Okay, so I bought this one because it was pretty. <laughs> right? Ain't this cute? So that can go in there. These are more nail stampers. Obviously, I put them in there. 
these are the cards to stamp Uh, his treasure said, if you're anything like me, you don't label your drawers because they're always changing. That is true. I don't label anything that's going to change because I like to move stuff around. That is the one thing that has been consistent on my tender card is labels. I know I wish I could label my drawers. I've seen, um, what's the lady on um, YouTube? She actually made like full blown like labels for the front of her Alex drawers. Um, oh my gosh, she has a nice nail room. I can't think of who it is, but I know y'all probably gonna uh, put her name down in the comments. But she made some labels for her Alex drawers, and that's how she knows where everything is. But I don't know, I can't. Yes, Talia Nail, yes, her. She made some labels and I'm like, those are bomb, but I just can't, I just can't because I feel like it'll change. If I want to move stuff around, you know, I don't want to have to pick off the label and you know, I might get tired of having, you know, just a white background with white letters. I don't know. I just, <laughs> uh, I just couldn't do that. I like to reorganize and do it again. Not that I want to create more work, but um her drawers are off the chain i love her channel um okay so that goes in there that's nail stamping Ooh. okay so i said i needed to do my silver one there we go so Let's do the silver one and then we'll be done with the jump rings. love her nail room that's goals right there to have a nail room like that is goals uh christina said it don't have to be a clear thing with the insert to change the name out correct yeah i'm so i'm simple but i like a lot of uh extraness if that makes sense um so I put my hand sanitizers there. You know what? I might as well just put the spider gels here. So that way it'll prevent it from sliding. And I'll just keep the hand sanitizers there. Um, let's see what's... I'll move those over there. That way I can put those down there. I'll just move these toothpicks. Move those there. There we go. Okay. So now the drawer closes with these. This drawer is good. Let me go back up here. So these are my extra wax pencils I have. Um, huh, I keep these in my drawer because I open up packages. These are my old knives. So that's why these are there. I know y'all like, are you going to cut somebody? No, I'm not. I keep them here to open when I'm doing my unboxing so I can get to them easier. But obviously they were covered up so you wouldn't be able to see them. So um, I can actually move these down. Let's just put them here. Okay, so these I do need to keep handy right at the top. So let me see if I can grab. Look, see how I wasted these jump rings. Oh, I'm not wasting them, but I'm going to get them. But this is why I say my drawers were like all over the place. Because I would use stuff and like I can condense this bag and this bag. You know what, let me just get a new bag. <laughs> mm. 
That way you can actually see through it and it won't be so uh, frosty. Garbage. Christina says, man, I dream of the extra. Yeah. Yes, her glitter drawer is heart. It is. Dollar Tree has a three drawer compartment. Oh, really? I have to go in there. Maybe I'll do like a come with me to the Dollar Tree. Because honestly, I haven't been in there in a while. And I could stand to use some drawer organization instead of just having like individual, um, individual like little containers. So, so this I'll keep and I kind of want to, you know, let me get rid of this bag too. Not that I have to, but you know, it's the new year. We need new stuff. And plus, I bought this from my local uh, nail supply store, and they wrote the F on it because these are fine uh, sanding bands. So that's the difference. I think these are my 180 grit, and then these are my fine sanding band. So I could put those there. These are to my X-Acto knife uh, that I use when I'm sculpting out acrylic. Um, these were to my silicone hand. Obviously, y'all remember when I made that video. So I'm just going to pop them on her for now. Just so that way they can get out my drawer. Okay. So here are some nail foils that I need to put on my ring. So I'll get those out of there. Uh, my jump rings. So they're obviously silver. So let's get them up. So these are like little tools that I keep in the back of my drawer. Technically, I don't need them to go there, but they're going to stay there. Um, so those are easy accessible. My extra wax pencils. Hmm. I'll just put them over here. So those are extra. These, this is my labels for my label maker. Um, Y'all should see my desk. It looks like a mess. Let me clean up some of this trash. Social Club. Hello, Stevens Nails. Okay, so I will put that there. This is my double sided tape. I will put that in there. Let's see 
using these nails. What do you use to upload your videos? My iPad keeps telling me there's not enough storage to upload my videos. I use my iPhone. That's what I'm actually using right now for live. It's my iPhone. And when I'm recording videos, I use my iPhone. I have a tablet. I'm actually using my tablet now to um, look at you guys' comments because obviously I can't see them on my phone. Um, you just have to create space. That's all. Just delete some old stuff. Okay, no problem. Kissy Social Club, I want to see those glitters real quick. Okay. I'll go through those. Uh, so that's done. I mean, I still have room for other stuff here, but that's at a later date. Um, you want to see the glitters here? Do you ever run out of storage? <laughs> yes. But the key is to make it fit with the storage that you have. So you don't throw nothing away. You just make it fit. And y'all, I'm going to put some lotion on because I ain't realized how my hands are. I've tried and it's not working um so you would just need to okay so once you delete it like if you use your iphone or anything like that um and once you delete like old videos make sure that you go into your album and go to deleted so that way you can actually permanently delete them off your iphone or your tablet because even if you just press delete it's still going to be sitting in that delete uh that delete box so you need to still get rid of them by scrolling down. Hold on, put my other phone in. Um, I can't even get this tissue box organized, so I need to screenshot this. Um, photos. Okay, right, so you're in your albums, right? And then if you scroll all the way down, um, it will say recently deleted. So you have to get rid of, see how I have four just sitting in there? Even though it says that I deleted it, it's still technically not gone out of my phone, which will erase the space. So you need to hit recently deleted. And then once you hit recently deleted, obviously the stuff will come up and then you just select them all. And then down at the bottom, it'll say delete all or recover all. So just hit delete. It'll say delete four photos, delete them. Now it's completely gone. So you should free up some, some space in your phone. Hopefully that helps you. Because sometimes I'll be like, I ain't got no room. And I go through and delete like 100 pictures. And then I'm like, I still ain't got no room. And then I'll be like, oh, duh, you didn't completely permanently remove them. Sorry, I'm putting some lotion on. <laughs> that was just ridiculous. Y'all could have said, look, girl, put some lotion on. <laughs> I wouldn't have been mad either. <laughs> get the acrylic pull out drawers with a small okay okay so you want to see these are you welcome so these glitters and actually I could take them out the plastic because I'm going to organize that too um, so this is some gold She said, we looking at your stuff, not your hands. <laughs> That's true, but I couldn't help but see it. I'm like, my goodness. Um, so these are some gold designs that you can encapsulate with acrylic. These are some circles. And of course, I got everything off of Amazon. I promise I'm going to make a storefront. Um, this is more white glitters that you can encapsulate with. Um, more gold moon stars, like a little cuticle gold stuff here. These are, um, oh, 
These are like some glitter flakes. Of course, these are classics to have. The fruits, make some fruit nails for the summer or for whatever, whatever floats your boat. These are letters. I haven't used these yet because I'm just like, I don't know what to use them on. I mean, I want to spell out something, but I don't know if I really have the patience to sit there and like pick individual letters out. <laughs> I know that sounds really, <laughs> really obnoxious, but... Or just make, or you could just make an alphabet nail. I mean, that would be cute too. But I haven't yet. These are butterflies. These are like little stars. And more foils. But I really want to get the sheets, the foil sheets. And then these, of course, are caviar beads. But I just don't want to take these out of the plastic because I don't know. I feel like. They just gonna be everywhere and plus they already have been coming out so if you see that see that so i'm definitely not removing those and then this was christmas a christmas set that i recently purchased but didn't use yet but definitely for next christmas and then here are some snowflakes that i did use this christmas on a christmas set and then these are some holographic and iridescent glitters. And obviously these are coming out as well. So that's why I have them in the plastic bag. So, And then these are some more metals, rhinestones. This came with a, like a free gift for Amazon pack. So that's what that is. And then these I put there because these are like little hearts. I wish somebody, would, one of my clients would get would let me put one of these on their hands. Because I'm like, these were just so cute. But just like Christina said, Valentine's Day is coming up. So, you know, that would be cute to have it sitting there um, on the nail. That would be cute. So, I think I'm going to move these to a bag, though, now that I'm talking about them. Little bag. Put them in a tiny individual paint jars. Okay. But yes. Okay, so get rid of that plastic. I know Valentine's Day nails are going to be so cute. I'm probably, if nobody lets me put them on their hands, I'm going to just do it on mine. Um, so I will put those there. So, oh, and this is my um, design. I'll keep that there because obviously I use that. Um, I probably could stand to throw this away, but it still has some use. So we're just going to leave that there. Um, I'm not getting rid of this because I feel like that I could use this on something, even if it's just me. <laughs> okay, so I'm moving right along, y'all. I feel accomplished. Um, I had bought these. I don't feel like I'm going to use these. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I may not ever use these. But I may use them. Who knows? But I'm going to just take them out of the plastic because the plastic is kind of like bothering me. that I could have fit. Oh, I can't, right? So, let's do that. Let's put that there. And let's get these, oops. Let's take these out of here. This binder. 
Obviously, I thought it was a good idea at some point. <laughs> so that way I can keep it organized, but sometimes it doesn't work. Whatever you don't want, I'll... Oh, I'll just send them to you. You don't have to pay for the shipping. Done. Say no more. I'll send these to you. And plus, I'll respond back to you on uh, Instagram. So, it's just a trade. We can do that. Done. Because I feel like I'm not going to use them. <laughs> Darling Nails, Capricorns, you and I have birthday coming up. I love your lives and your videos. I'm about to start doing videos. This is my new channel. No content yet. but So, I watch you on my other channel. Oh, thank you. I am a Capricorn. And actually, my birthday passed. It was uh, the day after Christmas. But thank you so much for uh, watching my lives, subscribing, being a part of our community. You know, I'm I'm nobody special. I'm just on here. I'm regular schmegula. <laughs> As Cardi B would say. You know, I just do it because this is like a hobby. You know, everybody has to have a hobby. Um, especially now that we're, you know, quarantined and... Um, or still quarantine. Let me correct that. Um, but of course, I mean, you can go out and do some stuff in moderation. Now, I'm not trying to say don't go out and do nothing. Live your life, as my husband, um, as my husband would say, live your life. I mean, pray over your family. You know, I wear two masks while I'm at work. I don't play around with COVID. I don't do none of that. So, I mean, you can still go out, do some things. Obviously, I still take clients. So just protect yourself as much as possible. That's that's all you can do is protect yourself. So these are actually picture frame. I'm oh, not picture frame. Uh, five by seven photo, um, photo paper. So I can just make this into a photo book, photo album. So... I have never done stamping. Honestly, it looks complicated. It's so easy. I love it. Oh, I'm a Capricorn too. All right. Yes, happy birthday to all the Capricorns. She's special because she's just real and chilling and engaging. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just me. Regular who like to shop and has a has a hobby of purchasing things and like I said I was I was once deciding if I really wanted to go to nail school, get into nails, but you know um there I am, a licensed nail tech. I just got to actually see. I've been so busy, I haven't even sent off for my license. But I got a year to send off for that. So honestly, I'm not really worried about that part, but I just been busy, but um, another part, just FYI, if you are going to get licensed, you still have to pay a fee to get your license. So, um, that's what I'm going to probably be doing next. I got to go to the currency exchange and, um, get my simple, send off of my actual license and then I can post it. So, all right, I'm making progress y'all. I feel so good. Steve's Nails and Beauty, you actually encourage me to go on and make videos as well, even though I'm very new, but I can share some of those flaws and would help me get through them as well. So, so much. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I have flaws too. I mean, there's some stuff, like I said, I'm still a new nail tech. Um, I've been doing nails for a year now, but there's some stuff that I haven't even begun to do, you know? So... There's some stuff I'm going to try and I'm going to fail at. There's some stuff that's not going to be right. I mean, it's all about practicing. You have to practice. My dad always said, practice makes perfect. He's still around. I still love him. Um, you know, um, I look up to him. He's like one of my biggest supporters along with my husband. So my dad always says, practice makes perfect. Period, poo. <laughs> so... Keep practicing. You can only get better at what you do. Um, oh, I am putting my caviar beads nowhere. 
Maybe I should save that for like my rhinestone drawer or something. I really don't even have a rhinestone drawer. But I just feel like if I put that there, that's just gonna be so like, <gasps> it fit. See, look at that. <laughs> I'm like, that's not gonna fit. It didn't look like it would fit. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all, I cracked myself up. It really didn't look like that would actually sit there and fit. To be quite honest. <laughs> I shocked myself. Okay, so if that is the case, so, okay, we have to revisit that though, because I don't know if that's gonna stay there, but for now, it could go there. Um, caviar beads, like regular rhinestones, then if that's the case, then I'll move, oops. I'll move that over, so that can stay there. Caviar beads. Um, these are like my ABC stuff for nails. I'll put that there. Maybe what I'll do is do that. That seems a little bit better. All right. So that way it could be close to me at convenience. Uh, darling nails. <laughs> Said you are so special. You are one of my idols. Oh, thanks. Uh, Steven's nail say, I see you're going very far. Thank you. Christina said, Biscuit reminds me of a native West Atlanta girl. <laughs> I mean, I was born and raised in the city of Chicago. Um, not trying to say that I was a part of that life, but I wasn't. But that's probably where my accent comes from is being a Chicagoan. So. But thank you, girl. I want to come to Atlanta, though. I do. And if I come, maybe you can show me around and see what's what's to do in Atlanta. At least at a so you know, at a distance, you know. Go to places and stuff like that. Pre COVID it probably would have been the bomb. But I mean I'm sure there's things you could do during COVID. Okay. So, I think we're good on this side, guys. Do you guys want me to just end this live here and then go to the other side? <laughs> Obviously, because it's like, what, 87 minutes? Ooh. So, um, I think I will do that just so that way it could be separate videos so you can see one side, the before and after. Okay, so here's my drawer now. How organized it is. Here's the second drawer, which really has nothing in it, which I am shocked. But I will take that when you move some stuff around. It's my polishes, nail foils, stamp and polish. These polishes I took to nail school. And then this is all my liquids and overflow and acrylic, uh, monomer, my Lysol wipes, Lysol spray, Young Nail Swipe. Um, nail polish remover, so paper towels. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I know I got uh, almost 20 people in here. So I think I'm going to uh, end this live right here. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I'm going to come right back to do the other side. <laughs> But I at least want to at least get this one processed and so it could be uploaded. And uh, I'm, uh, I'll come back and do the other side. And I'll still be on live. So if you're interested, come on back to the live. Um, and I will still be here, obviously. <laughs> uh, but thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that way you never miss a video of mine. Um, I... Um, we'll be posting my 5,000 subscriber giveaway, uh, should be posted by tomorrow. So stick around for that and uh, I will see you guys in my next one.